last eight years. Yeah. What's that relationship been like? Because the perception was at the beginning that you kept him at arm's distance. Yeah, that's told him to bide his time. Characterize it for me better if that's incorrect. That's silly. Look, there, you, you as a good historian know that there is a governor and there's a lieutenant governor and then there's these other people. On their constitutional offices, and most of what the governor is engaged in is with the various departments and uh, the legislature and the negotiation. So the lieutenant governor has a role in these, uh, you know, the lands commission on the regents and various other things. So, and then waiting to get the opportunity to be governor. That's what it is. And we have conversations on that, but most of the stuff just happens. We got a gas tax, so we got, I got to get the the last couple of votes. Uh, we have climate action. We have do things. So I think the relationship is probably similar to what it'll be in the next eight years, and what it was in the prior eight years. So this is just the way it is. Did you talk to him on a frequent basis or not? And can you give me some sense of? Well, I don't He's know. I, wrap up here shortly. I talked a lot. Of it. It's not. It's not specifically not a lot. Of it. I mean, did you? He, I, look, I have a pretty good relationship with the Newsoms. I went to visit his father. He's not doing very well. Um, and we talk when we need to, and uh, you know that's the way it is. But you can build a narrative if you want. But generally speaking, uh, even the vice president didn't have much of a role until rather recently. And that's that's a possibility. Did you so, vote for him? What? Did you vote for him? Yeah, I voted. For, I'm, I voted for the you got any, what? All the other propositions. I voted for them? Democrats. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> but, can, that's but, it. but a serious question: Why do you think he's qualified? Why do you think he's ready to be governor? Can you talk about that? No. I mean, he's obviously he won. He's been around. He's been a mayor. He's been anybody who's been mayor of San Francisco eight years uh, has a very good head start on being governor of California because that's a very challenging job. In fact, I thought about it myself once. I decided to move to Oakland, where things were a little simpler. Uh, so I'd say that he's got a lot. Uh, he has a lot of skill. He's got a lot of experience. He's a smart guy. It, it's going to be a challenging four years. Governor, just with respect to ongoing issues yeah. facing California's income inequality, homelessness, housing affordability, what's the biggest unchecked box you've And mortality. You mentioned, didn't mention that. Sure. Well, what do you right. think is the biggest issue for the next governor to tackle? I don't think there's no big issues. Issues emerge. Stuff happens. You could have an earthquake today and the recovery. That would be the big issue. Uh, the, so things to happen. The, you've outlined a few things, but you, you have to distinguish problems from conditions. Problems you solve, and once you solve them, they're over. Conditions you learn to live with, and you 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 respond to them, and and you manage them the best way you can. And you mentioned a lot of things that are conditions. What?